Imagine you forgot your umbrella and got caught in the rain. Should you walk calmly or run? At first glance, it seems logical to run. You'll reach shelter faster. But here's the catch. When you move, you collide with raindrops from the side. If you stand still, only the rain from above hits you. If you walk slowly, the rain from above keeps falling the same way. But now you add the drops you bump into from the front. So the rain from above is the same, no matter your speed. But the faster you go, the more side drops slam into your face and clothes. Each second standing still gets you the least wet. But if you need to get from point A to point B, standing isn't an option. Here's the key. The total side raindrops don't depend on your speed, one but on the distance you travel. It's like a snowplow. No matter how fast it drives, it clears the same snow. Same with rain. The side drops will be the same at any speed. But the rain from above depends on how long you're outside. The longer you're outside, the wetter you get from above. So to get less wet, you need to shorten your time in the rain. And the only way to shorten it is to run. So counterintuitively, running is actually better. Of course, you'll still get wet, but less than if you walked. Science boils down to a simple formula. Time in rain equals wetness. So forget the debates, run if you want to stay drier. And yes, if there are puddles, better jump over them. Conclusion, the faster you run, the quicker you escape the rain. Science proves it.